We'll begin with the right angle. Again, our personal destiny. 64% of the population is here banging around creating karma. They have a personal destiny to fulfill. They tend to be way more self-absorbed, way more self-interested. They research what the quality or nature of the hexagram that they were born under is about. So this geometry will intersect at a right angle and bump into others in their life. They may have an experience of some kind with that other that creates a kind of karma to fulfill in this life or the next. And it's not that you weren't born with any karma, period. It's more like you were born with a clean slate. So your life's work does not depend on specific other people that you fulfill your purpose with. Now, the personal destiny profiles are people who have a gate thematic as how they fulfill their purpose. Okay, this is the biggest thing to remember, the personal destiny for the most part. Here's the gate theme. You see how it says gate theme? So all the one threes are about introspection of their conscious gate theme and adaptation of their unconscious gate theme. The one fours are about the conscious introspection of that sun earth gate theme and the unconscious externalization of that sun earth gate theme. Okay, that's what creates their personal destiny. The two personality profile, quality line two, is about natural projection of the essence of their hexagram. Here's the essence. Here's the natural progression that they're, or projection that they're unaware they're projecting. And on the body side, they're externalizing the nature of that gate, sun, earth on the unconscious side, and or well, if they move up to the uh, fifth blind body, they're universalizing. Okay, so the two, four and the two, five, you see the switch, we have one, three, four, and then we have see the four, four right there. And we have two, four, five, you see the five, five right here. And then we have three, six, six. Now, the reason why this image is the way it is, be, is because you see more of these. Yeah, the personality, you recognize more of this consciously. As far as your awareness, remember, these are the harmonics that you see less of, right? So now the three conscious third line people, hey, martyr, are here to learn to be adaptive. <laughs> to have adaptation be their rule, adaption to their gate. Oh my God, I just had an insight of my own. <laughs> adaption to their gates process. And the fifth line on a body side is the universalization of their gates process in their life's work. Remember, this is the costume of your purpose. Okay, so always about the gate theme. Last but not least, we have our three sixes, our harmonic three sixes that are about adaptation and transition. Okay. Adaption and transition. So here's where it gets confusing and where you can make Levina's mistake. Don't make Levina's mistake and think that the 4-6 is a left angle. <laughs> the only difference here is it's still right angle. But instead of just about the gate theme, their concern, the 4 and the 6 are upper trigram line values that are concerned with the not research and development necessarily anymore, but the propagandizing, as Ra would say here, more specifically, it's the externalization of the line, the gates process, their sun earth gates process, externalization or influencing others, getting the word out to those that it knows about the channel theme. And the six unconscious transition is about the channel theme. Okay. Channel theme when it comes to a profile that is for six, okay, a profile that is for six. It's more about their personal destiny expressing the nature of the channel theme. How is that landing with you? Let's see, I've got some chats here. Does that make so much more sense? Oh, good, glad, Mark. Okay, so Lisa is saying, should we, would we feel closer or relate easier to people on either side of us in profile, maybe? 
where you will be comfortable is not the either side, okay? Necessarily. I mean, you'll get, you'll be aware consciously, hey, we are both introspective or hey, we're both naturals and we're hermits or hey, we're both martyrs. But what will normally feel comfortable are the harmonic profiles, okay? So what would a harmonic profile to a 1-3 be? A 4-6, my friends. So if you look at our relationships, a lot of times those, those relationships that feel the most comfortable and interesting are those we have a harmonic relationship to because it's similar enough to feel comfortable, but it's different enough to create genetically different offspring, genetically viable. It's not too same, not too similar because the, the body always wants difference. It's always interested in difference. But you get too much difference, let's say, um, what's a very different profile? Let's say a 3-5, okay, a 3-5 is not harmonic to a 1-4, okay? If you are a 3-5 with a 1-4 in your relationship, that relationship is going to have challenges in relating to each other with your conscious personality perspective and your unconscious body style. Example? Here's the four that wants to have friends, wants to go out, wants to do stuff. The five, now I'm going to stay at home. I'm going to make sure that I, well, maybe depends on what, but I'm not going to let a lot of people see me. When I do go out, I'm not going to socialize with everybody. I don't have a ton of friends. The five is very, very, we could call it reserved as a body style in that they don't like to let a lot of people in. Have you ever seen a 5-1 and its relationships? They're very private people. Ones are private, you know, maybe insecure, more introspective. No, I just want to study. Where the three might be out there going, no, let's go and meet people and do stuff. Oops. You know, it's, there's all kinds of different qualities that don't necessarily resonate. Jim says, shh, don't tell anyone. <laughs> okay, I'm glad you guys are getting this. Okay, so remember your right angle profiles, one, three, one, four, two, four, two five three five three six and four six all personal destiny one three as an investigating martyr this is the overview of each of your right angle personal destiny profiles so if you're one three you're introspective you love to learn and you're learning through investigating and by trial and error you make mistakes that help you solidify the foundation that you're investigating, whatever it is that you're introspective about and you love to learn. So you're designed to be pessimistic, being really careful about what you take in until you've established a solid foundation of learning. You make this foundation secure through your intense study. You're researching, you're analyzing, your investigation, you're going deep, deep, deep into stuff. And you'll, you have this internal core strength once that foundation is secure to help us rip down what no longer works for society. That's the 1-3. Now 1-4 is very different. The 1-4 has still the investigating mind, but the opportunist body. So the most important thing for these people is their research. They love to research. They love to study. They need to have a well-rounded education so that when they're approached by their friends and they share what they have learned, they're influential instead of turning people off with their narrow-mindedness because they hold really strong points of view, okay? So they're designed to be influential with their network, build strong networks through their research, through their investigation. That's our personality ones. Now the twos, we have two different hermits with two different kinds of bodies. A hermit opportunist is the most common one that you'll come across in that they are the um, dissonant profile, yeah? The, the, the larger amount of people. So these are people who are walking around looking for their mission in life. They're waiting for a call. They're a hermit opportunist. They're very private mentally. They're designed to be naturally good at something there's something that, that calls them. There's something that interests them. And their network will call them out of their seclusion. So their friends, their community, their family, whoever it is that sees this person's talent, second line. This is the profile of the missionary. 
because when they're called out into their area or field of interest, they pursue it with zeal. Ra called them the missionary profile. Now, when we look at a five body, very different. They're designed to be heretical from the body sense. They have to be practical because there are five, because their reputation is essential for them to maintain their place in society. They're going to be naturally brilliant. However, they prefer seclusion, so naturally brilliant at something. Because other people are going to have false expectations, fifth line quality, these people getting called out and getting burned are usually reluctant to engage. So they're in more hiding than even a 2-4. But on rare occasions, if they have a practical solution, they can call themselves out of that seclusion, that self-enforced seclusion that they live in. Now the three, five, and six, very different bodies, we have martyrs who are either heretical unconsciously or designed to grow into being a role model. So the three, five is the most common profile that you'll find compared to the three, six. These are people who are great scientists or experimenters. They're problem solvers because they bang into all of the problems that you could ever possibly bang into and they're here to find practical solutions to those problems. So they bump into everything that doesn't work in their society, in their families, in their cultures, in their um, businesses, and they are designed to save the day, only if it's right for them. What happens is they tend to be very pessimistic and always complaining about what doesn't work. And what happens when they try to come to the rescue and it's not correct they get burned at the stake and then they lie about the mistakes that they're making hi three and that can lead to social isolation because they're constantly running from the mistakes that they make in life now the three six role model these are people who have some of the deepest wisdom about the trial and error process because in the first 30 years of their life they operate like a three three right so they have a very innocent body in that the body has experiences that it wasn't built for and they can be very challenged in the first 30 year and 30 years and they pull back from that trial and error process physically in the middle part of their life so as they mature they become living examples of what you can trust who you can trust what can be trusted they have an underlying optimism, six line quality is optimistic and innocence that allows them to endure, endure life's trials and tribulations. Now I said innocence, I can actually apply that to all of these harmonic profiles because all of you have innocence underlying as a color motivation, meaning it's about the lightness of the childlike curiosity in life, the harmony, the expression of camaraderie and comfort and clarity about one's life and one's position, not the dissonance of the challenge that someone in their not self would be so unhappy with what they keep experiencing unconsciously and wondering why, what's wrong with them. Now the opportunistic role model, these are people who are witnesses of their social environment. Why? Because it's upper trigram. Four and six are are the upper trigram of the hexagram. Therefore, there's more interest in the outside world than the lower trigram profiles. So here are people who are great networkers, fourth line, in their immediate community of, and circle of family and friends because they're seen as friendly and sociable. They are great schmoozers. Oh my God, can they make small talk? I do not understand it. <laughs> Through observation, they develop good interpersonal skills because they're designed to be opportunistic, build a strong network. They're here to mature, just like that six line body here, martyr role model, but here they mature into role models of what they have observed that works in getting that network, that influence out into the network. Okay, opportunistic role model. Those are all our right angle profiles. Now let's take a look here. I think this might help you guys. It definitely helped me. <laughs> Remember how I wrote that the right angle cross of the Sphinx had 16 hexagrams from imprint to imprint? That's true for all right angle crosses. Okay, so now here's a right angle cross of the four ways 
two because down here is the quarter of civilization, purpose fulfilled through form, and the four ways, the reason I'm showing you four ways is because that marks the end of a quarter. It closes off the quarter of the wheel. Okay, so at 33, we come to retreat. It's in the throat center. It's purpose fulfilled through form. Many of these down here are in the throat center because that's communication and action and that's us speaking or acting in the world of form. 